Of course, beautiful, but dangerous taking out an APS substation in Australia. Yeah, hundreds of customers. In fact, they are still without power right now. ABC 15's Aldo Vasquez checking in with the neighborhood and how they're staying cool. Sweating it out on this scorcher of a day. It was so hot in the house this morning. It was cooler outside than it was in the house. Jenna Bingham looking for ways to stay cool. Just hopping in and out of the pool to cool down for a little bit. After a lightning strike took out a transformer in Estrella, knocking out power to nearly 3,000 people. APS says to fix this will take about a week. Our temporary fix is we've brought in a temporary substation on a flatbed truck. Trying to reroute power as fast as possible. We're working as hard as we can to get it on. We know. And neighbors left feeling the heat when a cooling station at Estrella Foothills High ran out of ice. We just gave all of our 3,000 pounds of dry ice. We do have a cooling station set up here at the gym, so if you need oh, okay. it, it's pet friendly, so if you need oh, to bring your pets. Yeah, we have two dogs at home. It has since been fully restocked, but several folks like Gene Arnold driving around today looking for any relief. I've got a wife that has Parkinson's disease, and uh, she's suffering pretty much. And now forced to wait it out. We are hoping that by midnight tonight, all of these customers will be back online. In Australia, Aldo Vasquez, ABC 15, Arizona.